There's something I didn't even think about. We're gonna we're gonna cut this thing open for you guys so we can kind of see what's inside. Give it a little dissection and see what we see. It feels hard. I thought it was metal because it's hard. No, it shouldn't be that dark. Ow. Am I gonna sit on this chair? You can. Okay, it's not egg, egg. stuck on that part. Oh. Yay, boy! Yeah. <laughs> you teeth. Am I? I'm a what of it? I'm a I'm a shoe shoe teeth. Yeah. <laughs> it means that it's your dinky dog. <laughs> but some of them are not going to happen. Yeah, unfortunately not, my guy. I was right. The big one was. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you were right. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to Failure Friday, Feeding Friday, and Flick Your Tongue Friday. <laughs> Brian and Eli here. We just wanted to bring you a little quick bonus video this fine Friday. Um, I mean, you know, it could be more fine, but try to count our blessings that we do still have seven good eggs in here. So this is from The Clutch. If you watched the video previous, 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 then you saw our girl Lucy, who we ha had issues with laying the eggs. This is the egg she laid. You can see it's all discolored compared to the other eggs. This is the egg that she laid on her own. And my theory again with this one is that it was just a little too long inside of her, didn't get out fast enough to get the uh, open air oxygen, and that's why it didn't make it. But it's unfortunate. You can see the white powder we got here. There was a little bit of discoloration starting on these other eggs where they were touching the eggs and went bad so hopefully that antifungal foot powder helps get rid of that and again you can tell I mean this egg has gone bad simply because of the coloration as well as is there a snake uh, in there? there there was as well as the fact that it's very firm to the touch and there's no it's it's like there's solid it's like it's a hard-boiled egg with a soft shell almost that's what it feels like so we still got seven good eggs from her so just gonna keep our fingers crossed that the rest of these go full term and that, uh, you know, the, these ones were all laid already. When I first found her, she had laid all these eggs already and there was no issue there, so here's the hoping. Is there a snake in that egg? Well, it's a dead, it's a, if there was, it's a very little dead, dead tiny snake. Oh. So you're not gonna be able to see it. Do you, do you wanna like, do you wanna cut it open? Yeah. Okay. There's something I didn't even think about. We're gonna, we're gonna cut this thing open for you guys so we can kind of see what's inside, give it a little dissection and see what we see. You guys can thank Eli for making the request to cut this thing open. I was just gonna put it in our, uh, what do you call those things, Eli? Compost? Yeah. Our compost pile. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Curious here's got me curious too. So we're gonna slice this bad boy open. For those of you that haven't seen something like this before, well, could be interesting. I think we'll just try and cut the roof off like a, you know, like if we cut eggs around here, that's I guess what we would do. Make a big roof, sunroof. There it is. What? The baby snake. Yep. Is that the baby snake? Yep. So you can see what I mean about this inside being like a, like a hard-boiled egg. This stuff is hard, like a uh, hard-boiled egg, essentially. And you can see right there, there's the little, you see that, bud? You see the, the eye of the baby snake? Mm -hmm. And that's that eye that I tell you guys about that I can see when I'm candling the eggs. You can see that eye right through the skin. And that's how you know the ember is at top. And just like we always try to position them so the ember is up it's top. It's stinky. Yeah, it's not the best smelling thing in the world, is it? No. Give you guys a nice close shot here of the snake that didn't make it. Yep. Pretty sad, but you know, it's like, it's part of life, man. Not every, That's why snakes lay so many eggs, because they don't always make it. So they lay more of them, so you have a greater chance of survival of, of the uh, genetics. That's and, really squishy, the snake. Yeah, snake's pretty squishy. Yep, since it died. Yeah. And it, it just no sense it died. Here's a poor little snake. Outside, we had to wait until it hatched. Yeah, well, this one wasn't gonna hatch. This one died, bud. 
and he's dead. He's never gonna make it. I think what we'll do is also cut into this, the meat of the egg and kind of see what was going on in there. And you know, for me, the most interesting part is the baby. Um, inside it? Yeah, we'll see just kind of what's going inside the uh, fluid here. You can see that it's just kind of this blue color and just, you know, starting to mold and, and go bad, so. Poor snake. Yep. Kind of wish I had uh, preservation tactics. I'm sure there's some easy ones out there. I'm just going to put this one in the compost and we're just going to let this go back to the earth. But uh, in the future, if we ever have something like this again, I think we'll, we'll be prepared to, to preserve uh, what's going on here just as a reminder of how precious life is. Can we see what's under the bottom? It's hot inside. Yep. See, so it just kind of looks like the, the top, you know, but no snake. Just and, hard. And that part is blue. Yeah, it's blue. Mold kind of fungus stuff starting, so. And let's go wash the hands. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And that's why I will just not touch that disgusting gross stuff. Where are you going? Now we're going to feed those snakes. <laughs> I got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins I saw but my run through the money The press will be calling Left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling Phone in progression It's all that I wanted The phone in affection I summon and dub it Cause I got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins I saw but my run through the money The press will be calling Left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I dub them. I don't do discussions, on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side, I don't know if you is a dick and I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause I got problems on 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 problems I solve them, I run through the money The press will be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause Wow. All right, folks, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we'll see you again. Hmm, maybe we'll do another video tomorrow. Leave a comment down below if you want to see another video tomorrow. <laughs> right, can we just hold on a second and figure out what's going on with this word pompatus? 1954, Vernon Green of the Medallions wrote a song called The Letter in which she used the word puppetutes of love. A combination of puppets and prostitutes. Steve Miller, who sometimes imported words from other songs, including his own Ninja's lyrics, misheard the word as pompatus and added pompatus of love to his songs Enter Maurice and The Joker, respectively. The words were later used as a title to a movie, The Pompatus of Love.